Welcome to my channel. Today we will study astronomy. Astronomy is the scientific study of the universe beyond the earth atmosphere such as stars, planets and space including comets, galaxies, moons, nebulae, the black holes and supernova. We also study processes that govern the life cycles of these objects and phenomena that originate outside the atmosphere of earth including supernova explosion, gamma ray bursts, and cosmic background radiations. Astronomers use the electromagnetic radiations emitted from stars and other celestial objects, including visible light, ultraviolet, infrared, and X-rays to study the celestial objects. Cosmology is related to astronomy, but it is a distinct subject that is concerned with the universe as a whole. The main branches of astronomy are astrometry, celestial mechanics, and astrophysics. Astrophysics, a branch of astronomy, is concerned with the physical processes associated with the celestial bodies and the intervening regions of space. Most ancient Greek astronomers believed that the Earth was the center of the solar system and the universe, with everything orbiting it. This is called a geocentric model, as shown here. Today we know that the earth orbits the sun, which is called a heliocentric model. Moreover, most ancient Greeks believed that all astronomical objects followed different physical laws and were perfect spheres and orbited in perfect circles around the earth. However, Copernicus, Kepler and Galileo disapproved these beliefs more than 1000 years later. So this is the heliocentric model presented by Copernicus. He was the first astronomer to present this model, which is a major event in the history of science. Now Kepler discovered that orbits of the planets like, are like ellipses and not circles. Kepler discovered that orbits of the planets around the sun are shaped like ellipses and not circles. That is, they are like squashed circles. His work provided one of the foundations of Newton's theory of universal gravitation. Galileo built the first telescope in 1609 and discovered four largest moon, moons of Jupiter and craters on the moon. He argued for the heliocentric model and said the earth could be moving because of the law of inertia. Now using the ideas of Copernicus, Galileo and others, Newton created the three laws of motion and the law of universal gravitation. These laws accurately describe the motions of all objects everywhere including astronomical objects. The solar system was formed 4.6 billion years ago. It consists of a central star, the sun, the eight planets orbiting the sun, Mercury, Earth, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, the dwarf planet Pluto, moons, asteroids, comet, meteors, interplanetary gas, dust and all the space in between them. Now this photograph taken from lunar orbiter 1 in 1966 is the world's first view of the earth and this photograph clearly shows that the ancient travelers had incorrect ideas about the shape of the earth that if it is flat and if they travel too far they would fall over the edge. In fact our explanation of the behavior of astronomical bodies are based upon the evidence we have before us today. Our present day ideas and model may change in future and new evidence may be found. The solar system was formed 4.6 billion years ago. It consists of a central star, the sun, the eight planets orbiting the sun, the dwarf planet like Pluto, moons, asteroids, comets, meteors, interplanetary gas, dust and all the space in between them. The mass of the moon is 1.99 into 10 raised to the power 30 kilogram and its diameter is 1393,000 kilometers or 
1,393,000 kilometers. And temperature of its core is 15 million kelvins and surface temperature is 6,000 kelvin. So our sun is a huge ball of flaming gases and composition of each gas is different. Hydrogen is 71%, helium is 27.1% and 1.9% is each of oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, neon, sulfur, magnesium, sodium and iron. Now here uh, the lunar phases are shown. It can be seen that these phases gradually change as the orbital positions of the moon around the earth and of the earth around the sun shift. Now here, um, this is a comet, it's the Grab Nebula, a remnant of a supernova explosion seen in 1054. It's the map of galaxy and supercluster's filaments. Here I would like to distinguish between asteroids, meteorite and some similar terms like meteor, meteoroid. So an asteroid is a small rocky object that orbits the sun. Asteroids are smaller than a planet but larger than meteoroids. When a meteorite, a small piece of an asteroid or comet burns up upon entering Earth's atmosphere, creating a streak of light in the sky, it is called a meteor. And as it lands the Earth, it is named as a meteorite. So I would like to describe a few more important terms we come across in astronomy. One is light year. One light year is the distance that a photon would travel in free space and infinitely far from any gravitational or magnetic field in one Julian year. That is 365.25 days of 86,400 seconds each. The speed of light is used by astronomers to measure distance since it is the fastest thing in the universe. They like to know how far things are in space. And please note that a light year is a unit of distance, not a unit of time. Second term is Milky Way. The Milky Way is a galaxy that contains our solar system. Its name describes galaxy's appearance from Earth. That is a hazy band of light seen in the night sky formed from stars that cannot be individually distinguished by the naked eye. And third one is galaxy. Galaxy is group of billions of stars that moves through space as a unit. And it is worth mentioning here that galaxies range in size from dwarf with just few hundred millions like 10 raised to the power 8 stars to giants with 100 trillion stars that is 10 raised to the power 14. Galaxies are classified as elliptical, spiral or irregular according to their visual morphology or appearance. Each speck of light is a galaxy. Some are as old as 13.2 billion years. The observable universe contains around 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies. I have used the word observable as the total universe is much larger than the observable universe. Every day, the galaxies get farther apart from each other and also new galaxies are being discovered. Scientists believe that there are more than 100 billion galaxies in the universe and have found a vast array of hidden or mysterious galaxies which were previously unknown. It could help solve some of the most fundamental questions about the universe, including the mysteries of black holes and dark matter.